putting the uh, dolly thingamajig to the test. Okay. There. Loaded on there. Wheels on the back. Wheels on the front. Sorry. Wheels on the back. Wheels on the front. And we're going up this hill. Come on. Phone's in a protector. That's why. There it is. That's why it's blurry. So, uh, here we go. Handle, grab, wheels on the ground, and we're going up the hill. It's back there. Oh, the shoulder that way. And we're climbing this hill. Obviously, could have drove the truck to the water, but I uh, wanted to give this a try. See if it's worth the effort and uh, actually pulling this thing up the hill. So I guess you can call it a uh, extreme test because again, you shouldn't have to pull this thing this far. But uh, if I had to or I needed to, it would work. Okay. Halfway up the hill. Okay, basically halfway up the hill trucks up there right there boats right here and we're going for it okay again extreme situation should never need to pull this thing this far but if I needed to I could got my water shoes on so it's not the most comfortable, but I do have pretty decent grip, so I'm not focus, focus. There we go. Pretty decent grip, so it does uh, help getting up this hill. Almost there. Focus. Come on. Come on. You know, I have a water bag on. Okay. Almost there. Top of the hill. Level surface. Almost there. Okay. I made it. All the way to the truck from the uh, boat ramp, which is at the bottom of that hill over there. Zoom down there all right got up here and I realized why this was so heavy in the front the battery is still in there so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out put the battery in the truck like I put the battery inside and then I'll put the boat back there well, might as well stick out I mean, you watch I mean, you don't have to just doing stuff you can watch if you okay so connection took that apart there use a pill cap just to keep that protected like I mentioned before um actually I don't even think I made that video but uh it's pill cap to keep this here end covered up when it's laying around because it is a live connection um but I put that in there so it's sealed off um, and just connect this when I go to use it. So, close this up right quick. Okay, this is a little cinch strap. Came with the, pre-installed with the boat. This holds the battery in place. In case you get bumped around, the battery doesn't jump out um, into the water. Just gonna take that loose, like so. Okay. Okay. 
cookies. Unlock. Unlock. All right, where's that? Okay. Truck has a, a little compartment under the seat where they keep the extension for the uh, jack. Battery fits right in there. So battery's in there. Ah, with the battery out of there, the front end is way lighter. So it's easier to like pick up and move around and whatnot. Okay, so again, we're gonna throw this in there and go home. All right, we are loaded. Um, before I came out today, I had to put my registration info on here. Um, you see this here gap. I didn't like the way the numbers I had looked, so I'm gonna get different numbers to put like the actual number that goes there. Um, yeah, I had to put that on today before I can even bring it out. Um, we are loaded. It's on the truck. Um, this is actually the first time I put this on this truck. Um, left the wheels on. They're synced on pretty good, so they're not going anywhere. Um, this is my lighter setup back here. I didn't fish at all. If you know, there's no fishing poles in there amongst my other junk. Um, I was basically playing with this here boat. And uh, this is a birthday present, or a Christmas present, actually. Um, a year ago, not even Christmas 2020. Christmas 2020, that's when I got that thing. Um, my drone, other little hobby I mess around with. It is nothing fancy. Oh, it is called the MEW 4-1. Um, again, nothing fancy. Doesn't compare to all the fancier $1,000 drones. This is only about $250. Um, works well. Um, controller cords I use a iPad iPod touch as the viewfinder for it um, it fits right in there it's actually not my iPod but um yeah it fits in this case pretty well the case is kind of kind of hard so it protects it um, put this back up mosquitoes are out so I'm moving kind of quickly um, this is my anchor down there my marker buoys and a train over there, some actually it's over there. If you can see it on the trestle right there, I think. Um, but yeah, throw this all back in here so it doesn't jump out on the highway. This in here again, I didn't fish today. If I was fishing, I would have had my fishing set up um, with my powerhouse, it has my bait well in there. Uh, my batteries and all that. This is just kind of my uh, go box. It just holds stuff. Um, I did bring a net just in case my drone fell into the water or the boat got too far for me to pick up. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, maybe next time I'll catch a fish. Oh, this. <laughs> I was thinking about this thing. I uh, found a piece of fabric and put a grommet on it and put a carabiner on it. This actually might be the marker off the top of a goal post. Um, I think that's what this came from. I'm not sure, but I grabbed it, put a hole in it, and put it on the boat. Uh, again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. One final peek. Um, the tonneau cover does close on top and latch. Um, actually, I'm going to lock it as well, so you can't just walk up and start grabbing junk. Um, but it does shut, does lock, everything fits kind of snugly right underneath there. And uh, yeah, we'll be home here in a minute.